And there you can <laughs> see. And there is the moment the crew from SpaceX as Polaris Dawn safely made it home after the first commercial spacewalk. The ship landed in the Gulf of Mexico early Sunday morning. The four astronauts on board are all reportedly OK, even after reports that reentry could be dangerous. The Polaris Dawn reached a higher altitude than any human has traveled in 50 years. Doctors and engineers in Colorado are now using data collected on that mission to study eye conditions. Night is reporter Courtney Yoon joins us live in studio now and Courtney, they're hoping Hopefully this research will help astronauts as they venture into deep space as well as people here on Earth. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Corey and Jordan. This is all in collaboration with the University of Colorado School of Medicine and CU Boulder Aerospace Engineers. They're working together to see how human bodies react in space flight. Researchers here in Colorado sent up specialized optical equipment to gather data from astronauts' eyes during the Polaris Dawn mission. This is the smart contact lens astronauts wore in space. The device monitored the astronauts' eyes during launch and as they transitioned into microgravity. Dr. Prames Subra Amanian with the University of Colorado School of Medicine's Department of Op Ophthalmology says once we started sending people into space, doctors noticed changes in the back of astronauts' eyes or swelling of their optic nerve. Fortunately, he says vision is not affected as best as they can tell, but it's something they want to study as humans venture into deep space missions for years at a time. He says the contact lenses on the astronauts tracked eye pressure fluctuation and changes in cornea dimensions we're going to see how much shorter the eyeball gets because the back of the eye fills with a little bit more blood. And that changes how clearly you can focus and may also be part of the process that leads to the development of the optic nerve swelling. Dr. Subramanian says what happens to astronauts eyes in space is similar to some diseases people get here on Earth, so he's hopeful this research could lead to better treatments. One theory they're testing is by using a short radius centrifuge. Because blood rushes to your head when there's no gravity, they're hopeful spinning the astronauts around might re redistribute their fluid and help prevent swelling of the optic nerve. In studio, Courtney Yoon, 9 News. Really is fascinating yeah, research. Truly. <laughs> Really interesting stuff, and to see what they learn up in space may help us down on here on Earth is really cool as well. I don't think I ever thought about something like that. Same. Yeah. Wow. I mean, like, because you, you think about, okay, if they're going to Mars, it's two and a half years. They, they've talked a lot about, like, food. Right. And, and that kind of stuff. But eyes, I would have never thought that two and a half years, I guess, in space would affect it so much. Yeah. What is the impact on the body, and what is the long-term effect more, more so we're trying to find out? I'm interested to see what that research says about us here on Earth, yeah. too. All right, Courtney, that's fascinating. Thank you. Let's get to check your forecast now with Chris. Yeah, I'm curious about that, too. There's so much to feel like we can learn from all that great story there, Courtney.